Hey there everybody, it's Linnea for Ink on 3, and today I'm using almost the whole collection of Atelier inks to do a fun rainbow watercolor background. I'm using all of them except for the Shark Tooth White, the Twiggy Brown, and the Paint It Black. So really just the, the colors, not the neutrals so much. So I'm going to be using a background stamp. Mine happens to be from Simon Says Stamp. It's the Fractured Background. It's one I've had in my stash for a while. It just features this geometric line pattern. So you could do this with any open area background stamp that you have. If you have one with circles or squares, triangles, or if you don't have one that you think would work for this style of watercoloring, you can just use a ruler and a marker and just draw your own lines. That's not something that I'm very good at, so I'm going to be stamping my background. I'm using the Juicy Clear Embossing Ink from Ink on 3 to ink up my background and stamp that once or twice, and then I'm going to also go in with the Blackout Hybrid Detail Ink, and then I'm going to put some clear embossing powder over the top. So I have a black, it looks like a black heat embossed line, but it's really just clear embossing powder on my background. Now I'm going to get all the supplies I need for watercoloring. So I have my ink off cloth that I'm going to be using to wipe excess water off of my brush. I have a brush, I'm using a size four round brush. I usually watercolor with either a two or a four. I just like the smaller brushes, but you could definitely use whatever size you like the best. And then I just have a little cup of water here and I'm gonna start by smushing my ink pads down onto my work surface. I have a glass craft mat that I work on. So you could use, if you have a glass craft mat, that'll work great. If not, use a piece of acrylic or a piece of like stamp packaging, something plastic, something non-porous that you can smush your ink pad down onto and pick up color that way. Another way to watercolor with the Atelier inks would be to use the reinkers. They would give you more um, vivid colors. And I knew that I wanted to do a lift technique at the end, and I wasn't sure if the reinkers would work well for that or not. So that's why I chose the ink pads. So I'm just going to go in rainbow order. I'm starting with Maryland Red, and then I will do the Sweet Petunia Pink, Marigold Orange, Bee Sting Yellow, Goddess Green, um... Trinity Teal, and then Peacock Blue, and My Jam Purple, all of the colors of the rainbow. I am keeping my ink kind of concentrated at one point and then blending that out with water. The Atelier inks react amazingly well with water. These are artist grade inks, so you can water with them, watercolor with them, stamp with them, ink blend with them. I love them for a variety of techniques. They really are a staple ink pad. So I am just putting down a concentration of color and then I'm letting the water kind of wick that away. I had put down a layer of clean, clear water first and I'm just going to let the water do the work. I put down some concentrated color, I clean off my brush, and then I come back in with clean, clear water and just kind of drag that color out a little bit. It's really easy. I'm not concentrating on any one specific light source. I'm varying where I'm keeping the concentrated color, so it's not going to be the same in each of these little areas. I'm just changing it up as I go. Since I have a lot of colors that I want to add to my background, before I started coloring, I counted how many little areas I was going to have to add color, and then I divided that by the number of ink pads. I'm using eight colors today, and so I figured out that I needed about six or seven blocks filled with each of the colors. So that's how I kind of kept my colors even and spaced well throughout my background pattern. Here it is, all finished, all colored in with all eight colors of the Atelier inks. It's super bright and pretty and I love it. And I don't want to cover any of it up, but I do want to add something else to the background. I mentioned earlier that I wanted to do a water lift technique. The Atelier inks react amazingly well with water. So I have upgraded to a size eight round brush now, and I have clean water that I'm flicking on, giving that a couple seconds to set in, and then I'm going to pick up the extra water with my ink off cloth. I repeated that process twice more, so for a total of three times, and look at how many of those water bleach marks I get. Now I did have some places where the ink kind of bled into each other, bled across those lines. That's okay. I think it's totally okay and just adds to the character of the card. 
I die cut a hello sentiment and the shadow die, popped that up with foam tape and then added a smaller additional sentiment at the bottom. And I'm gonna cover over my sentiment with liquid pixie dust and that's going to finish this card. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye. Thank you again very much for watching this video. If you liked this video and you'd like to see more from me, please hit that subscribe button that is on the screen now. And here are a few other videos that I thought you might enjoy.